Hey beautiful people, hope you all are doing very well today. Welcome back to the Young Black and Independent Show where we discuss a variety of topics to help young black folks live lives that are spiritually fulfilled, lives that are value added, lives that are less materialistic and lives that are financially independent. It's your host Seal and the topic of today's discussion is who are your friends? Hmm... Who are your friends? You all know that I am obsessed with definitions. So let's just dive into one. According to the Oxford Dictionary, a friend is a person with whom one has a bond of mutual affection, typically one exclusive of sexual or family relations. Interesting definition. You most probably have heard the saying, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. On the backdrop of the official definition mentioned earlier, I decided to form an unorthodox definition of a friend, which will be the backbone of today's content. I am of the opinion that a friend is anything or anyone who can impact your life in one way or the other. They often have the ability to influence your thoughts, your actions, your decisions, and your life in a general sense. That's a friend. You've probably wondered why some people are so close to their pet animals or extremely loyal to a radio station host or a TV series or what have you. Those are their friends. They would put everything on hold to attend to these friends. Friends are not only physical human beings like Mary, Tracy, Coden, Johan or whatever your friend's name is, your physical friend. Your friends are equally the books you read. Your friends are the podcasts you listen to. Your friends are the movies you watch. Your friends are the mentors or the mentor you look up to. Your friends are the Facebook, WhatsApp or other groups you belong to. Your friends are the YouTube, TikTok or other videos you consume. These unorthodox friends impact your life in ways that are beyond your imagination. Having said that, does that make any sense to you? A very wise man once said, and I quote, Your friends determine your values. And your values will determine your decisions. Your decisions will most likely determine your actions. And your actions will definitely be reflected on the results that you get. It definitely gets more interesting if you turn it around. If your results are nothing to write home about, you should check your actions. The actions that led you to the results that you got. If your actions were not so good, you want to check the decisions you made. And if your decisions were not all that, you must check your values. And if your values are not good, please check your friends immediately. If you want to change your life today, All you need to do is to change your friends. What you consume is a direct result of the friends you have. This includes the environment you're in, the physical friends you hang out with, the books you read or don't read, the Netflix shows you binge watch, the YouTube channel or podcast that you're subscribed to or not subscribed to. These are the uncommon friends you must welcome 
with open arms today in order to change your life for the best. The first friends are books. Books can be extremely resourceful for your independence. Warren Buffett, the safe richest man in the world, recommends this and I quote, Read 500 pages every day. That's how knowledge works and it builds up like compound interest. End of quote. Books provide you with a compressed format of knowledge acquired by other people. Decades of research work and even solutions to problems that you face in different areas of your life and your business. You may be living in a poor neighborhood or have not so good physical friends. But I guarantee you that if you immerse yourself in books and bask in that wealth of knowledge and wisdom, you will change your life. The second type of unorthodox friends you want to have is online research. You probably have heard the saying, don't be Google frugal. Or Google is user-friendly. You can find a wealth of free information on search engines like Google, Baidu, Bing, and Yahoo. Google, however, is the most popular amongst them, always ready to help you find exactly what you're looking for. This particular friend can help you learn an a lot of information about your schoolwork, your health, your business, your relationship, your religion, and much more that will help you to set the right priorities for your life. After all, even the Bible wants us in Hosea chapter 4, verse 1, and I quote. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. However, a word of caution. Not everything on the internet is true. You must learn good research skills. The first thing you want to do is always double check that some other sources are in agreement with what you've already found. You must always verify the credibility of the information. This credibility can be the academic profile of the author or their expertise in that particular field. The third type of unorthodox friends that you want to have are audio recordings. An example of a friend under this category is a good and solid podcast like the Young Black and Independent show. Instead of listening to gossip, I urge you to focus on listening to value-added programs that will make you smarter rather than make you foolish. A study performed by Cambridge University found that found that, and I quote, sample groups of subjects regularly make the same assumptions about people's personalities, values, social class, and even their ethnicity based on their musical preferences. Can you imagine? I found that mind-blowing. That just the music you listen to People can tell what your personality is, what your values are, the social class you're in, and even your ethnicity. Wow. The results of this research definitely reminded me of the saying, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. Show me the kind of music 
and I'll tell you what your social class is, what your values are, what your personality is, and what your ethnicity is. Hmm, I can't have enough of that research. You may not realize it immediately, but the information you listen to has a direct effect on your hormones. Listening to enjoyable music like the one I have on the background right now reduces levels of the hormone cortisol in your body, preventing the effects of chronic stress. Remember that 60% of all the illnesses and diseases are caused by stress. Therefore, choose what you listen to meticulously and wisely. The last but not the least unorthodox friends that you should have are videos. You can consume video information via TV programs, YouTube channels, TutorTube, TikTok, and so on. According to Dr. Allen, a PhD holder in psychology, people who watch as little as 15 minutes of negative TV news have shown a rise in depressed moods, uneasiness, and a tendency to become more catastrophic about their personal worries. That's not good. Which is why focusing on positive and less dramatic news, movies, or videos in general increases your likelihood of experiencing an increase of the productive immunoglobin A. This is one of our first four lines of defense against attacking microorganisms. Wouldn't it be good to focus on building more of your immunoglobin A rather than building up stress? So, I'll end today's show by saying that instead of consuming music, videos, audios, magazines, or whatsoever that will torture you, body and spirit, perhaps it's best to make a habit of exclusively letting in only the type of content that impacts your life in all all the good ways it's not so hard to do it guys all you need to do is have the right priorities thank you so much for listening and please do not forget to share this with all your contacts especially those who watch negative news about COVID-19 who watch horror movies and have terrible nightmares, who watch despicable videos, making rounds on social media, and who will just not stop listening to those abusive songs. You can also follow us on all our social media, Twitter, Young and Independent, Facebook, Young and Independent Community, Instagram, Young and Independent 35, and YouTube, Young and Independent. For more juicy content and weekly job opportunities, please go on to our website www.youngandindependent.com. Thank you so much and see you in our next episode. Bye.